Now he's back. Faraz now our chip leader once again. Well, that's where he was most of the time at this final table. He has regained the chip lead. He's once again. See Justin's eyes. He's working on his Phil Ivey eyes. That look that Phil Ivey gives. Alex has come back over the top, and I think Justin's going to shove. Come on. Here goes. Justin goes all in. He's quickly called, and the Brazilian is going to love it when Justin turns up his hand. It's ace king versus ace queen. A monster pot here, nearly $9 million pot. And right now, the Brazilian in great shape to really take a whack out of the chip lead of Justin Smith. Just cold right there. No way of getting around that. Now Justin Smith needs to get lucky again. He's done it before tonight. Here comes the flop. Now flop comes. Ace, 10, 9, all clubs. Neither player has a club. They both have a pair of aces. But Justin is out kicked right now. He's going to have to catch a queen to win this pot. Well, now a nine comes off. Now that means if another nine comes off or an ace comes off, this would be a split pot. He's got some hope going down the river. An ace or a nine will give him a split. A queen will give him the win. Doesn't happen. The five of clubs comes off. So Alice Gomez once again regains the chip lead at this final table. One time! Ice bag kid went from the chip leader to the short stack. Just no way of getting around that. But he is absolutely devastated, hurt by that, as the Brazilians celebrate. Well, Vince, there's certain hands in poker you have to go with, and obviously, I think anybody's going to go with either one of these two hands. Get all of the money in before the flop. Unfortunately for him, he ran into a better hand. He may be taking that ice bag off his knee and putting it on his forehead right now. Steaming a little. Yep. Right, action going to Faraz, and oh, I can't believe this. Pair of kings for Faraz. What a hand he has. What hands we're seeing in the three-handed poker game. Ace-queen suited, ace-king, and now two kings. Boom. Now Faraz loving this. He's going to raise it. Makes it 255000 to go, and he is just praying somebody makes a move on him. Well, the Brazilian going to take a break, and now Justin with a interesting ace-four. Can he slow down? No. Nope. He's going to shove it. Yep. It's all in there. Quickly called by Faraz. And Justin's got to be saying to himself, wow, what is going on here? The last hand the guy had ace king. This time my opponent's got two kings. Well, you got to think, geez, Justin's thinking to himself, that knee thing is the kiss of death. I can't stand up and run around anymore. I turned my knee and I never win another pot. <laughs> well, he did get lucky in three hands on the river. Can he get lucky one more time? Ten jack five. Five, six, nine. Five, six, nine. He's looking for an ace right now or some wheel cars. Doesn't happen. Jack eight six out there. So he's going to have to catch an ace or two running cars car. to make an eight high straight. That is all that's going to do it. Otherwise, the 21 year old is going to be out. He needs Four, miracles. <laughs> Will he get it? Not there. Well, nine of spade comes on the turn. We're down to the river. Justin Smith must catch an ace on the river to stay alive in this tournament. He used to work in a grocery store as a bagger. Now he's a big time poker pro. <laughs> His chance for a WPT Diamond. title Diamond. coming down to this card. Long break. No, nope, five of hearts comes off. So that's going to do it for this tough 21 year old out tonight in third place. But folks, I'll tell you one thing we'll be seeing a lot more Justin Smith in the future here on the World Poker Tour. He is tough. Tremendous effort by Justin Smith. You've got to respect him. He'll take home 464000 Right now, his buddy Mike Matisau walking him out of here. Out with the Wounded Warrior and in with the cash that these guys are going to be playing for. They shovel them off the floor, and here comes the cash. Well, one of these two players will become the next WPT champion. Will it be Faraz, the toilet jocka, or the great player from Brazil, Alex Gomez? That's not bad. <laughs> not at all. Well, that's the question is, will the toilet slam the lid on this championship, or will he get flushed down the toilet? Heads up action about to begin right after this. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We are about to start heads up action between a 23-year-old Faraz Jaka and Brazil's great poker player, Alex Gomez. Well, it's been a long, tough battle to get to this point for both of these competitors. Faraz now has the chip lead, but I'll tell you, Alex is a very strong player, and he's got a great shot to win this thing. All right, to the felt we go. Blinds are going up to 80 and 160,000. And right now, Faraz with 11.1 million. Alex Gomez with about 5 million. 
Yeah, Faraz with over a two to one chip lead starting out in this heads up battle. And it's on the Brazilian to act first with the button. He's got a six deuce of hearts. Alex Gomez, the former lawyer who's turned poker pro, already the most successful poker player in Brazilian history. Well, Alex is raised, makes it 425, and Faraz with queen ten of spades is just called. Here's the flop. And flop comes king, king, three. Faraz out in front with the queen high. Well, he is checked, and Brazilian also going to check. The turn card is an ace of clubs. Inside straight draw for Faraz now. Well, he's going to lead out and bet. But look at this, Vance, with just a six deuce, the Brazilian coming over the top for $1.5 million. You've got to love the bongos on this Brazilian. Unbelievable. Well, Vince, he's representing to his opponent that he's got an ace in his hand by making this play, or possibly even a king in his hand. And I can tell you, even though the guy's got the best hand with queen high, you can't stand a raise in that situation. So the bluff. Embarrass me. Yeah. <laughs> Embarrass me. Do you see? He would yeah. love to show this nah, bluff. Okay, I'll show this time. He's doing it. He did. I, I asked for it. Yeah, he asked. I, I wanted to be it. embarrassed. That is a needle <laughs> in the knee. Well, he said he asked for it. He wanted to be embarrassed. And right now, I think he is a little embarrassed and wishes he would have never asked to see that hand. Well, that's going to back up the toilet just a little bit. That is, just, that is punishing. As the ante up and put up the blinds, action going to Faraz. He is punchy from that. Well, I'll tell you what the toilet's going to do. He's going to take the plunger right now and try to stuff the other guy down it. I can <laughs> promise you. He's got eight, seven of clubs. He raises it to 430. Be nice to me this time. I'll try. Alex is a pair of deuces and not going to raise. Interesting. Here comes the flop. 10-5 deuce. Alex has flopped three deuces. Amazing. Just a thing of beauty when this happens. You flop a set. He has checked. And Faraz is going to bite. 510,000 for Faraz. And look what happened. Alex was thinking about raising quickly there. But now he just opts to make the call with the three deuces. He's going to walk the dog, as we say, just going to let Faraz continue to take the lead in this hand, even though he's first to act. Reverse play right there. Now the queen of clubs comes off. Well, that gives the toilet a four flush now. Again, Alex checks. But now Faraz doesn't have to bluff necessarily because he does have a draw to win this pot. He's got a flush draw and he does check. If a clubs come off, this could get very bloody for the Brazilian, but it doesn't. The four hearts comes off. So action back on the Brazilian. Two minutes. Oh boy, two million dollars and a quick fold by the toilet. Well, that was more than a pot sized bet. Obviously, we can see Faraz had nothing, so he's got to get out. But the Brazilian flopping a set there and continuing to go the right direction in terms of chip count in this heads up battle. He is moving up. Very shrewd player, and the Andes are moving up too 20,000, and the blinds are 100 and 200,000. Action going to the Brazilian. He has a 7-4 this time, and he calls it. Well, he limps in on the button, and Faraz with a 4-3. Happy to see a flop here. Here comes that flop. The flop comes ace, 10-5. Inside straight draw, and he's checked it. And Alex, with absolutely zip and pip, is going to bet 200,000. Well, he does have zip and pip. Faraz calling quickly. Here comes the turn card. Well, it's a king of diamonds. Faraz has got a little flush draw there. And they both check. River card coming up. Now Queen of clubs comes off, so possible flush out there. Four cards straight out there. And look at this. Faraz leads out and bets 300,000 on the river. No, oh, Vance, can you believe this? The guy raising on the river yet again with an absolute Garfunkel. Incredible. And again, Faraz goes out. Just unbelievable the plays this Brazilian is making. Young players playing in the top of the games. We're coming back on the World Poker Tour. Stay with us. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. 
are back here in Las Vegas for the World Poker Tour. Heads up action continues. And Faraz Jaka out in front with 9.5 million in chips. The Brazilian Alex Gomez has about 6.5 million. Okay, back to the action. It's going to be on Alex Gomez. His former lawyer, now poker pro. The winningest pro in the history of Brazil. And certainly his status is going to go up if he captures the first ever WPT title by a Brazilian poker player. Close to 1.2 million goes with that as well. And right now, Alex with an ace jack is going to raise 560,000. Well, ace jack is a strong hand in a heads up situation. King 10 is not a real bad hand either. And there you see Farah is going to make the call with it. And the flop comes jack nine, deuce. So Faraz has flopped a gut shot straight draw. Queen would give him a straight. Faraz quickly checking, and Alex with top pair, ace kicker, beautiful flop for him. And he's bet 735,000 here. Oh, look at this, Vince. Faraz is going to raise him back. He's come over the top. He doesn't believe the Brazilian. He's saying, I thought you were faking it. Little does he know. This could get very expensive fast. The Brazilian is going to ship here, I believe, Vince, like most players would. You got top pair and top kicker in a heads up situation. You move in. I'm over. That's what he's done. And Faraz quickly moves out. And that's the problem when you raise on those gut shot straight draws. You now want to lose more chips. You lose your opportunity to win the pot. Things are evening up. Alex Gomez, a former lawyer, gave it all up to play poker, and he is putting on a clinic here tonight. Just brilliant stuff. But the toilet for Raj Jaka, also a genius from San Jose, California. Only 23 years old. He's playing some great poker here tonight as well. Well, Faraz knows he can come back because Alex did it. When Faraz had 11 million and Alex was down to 5 million, they've completely flip flop positions now. Well, Alex this time again with Ace Jack has raised to 535. Faraz with an ace seven. Well, that's a pretty strong hand in a heads up situation. Unfortunately, he's dominated here. All in. But he's gone all in. I call. And he's quickly called by the Brazilian. And folks, this can do it. It's ace jack versus ace seven. Oh, <laughs> excitement here. Oh, this is like the World Cup to Brazilians here. They are excited. They are fun people and fun poker players. Right now, it's not so much fun for Faraz, that's for sure. He's going to have to get lucky to win this pot to stay alive in this tournament. This could be the hand that closes the rat cage. Ace Jack versus A7. Five cards to come. Here's the first three. And the flop comes. Eight, six, deuce. Faraz is going to have to catch a seven or two running cards to make a straight. If the board paired twice, they would split this pot. Other than that, it's going to be over. The toilet looking depressed here. Here's the turn card. Well, the board does pair. Two sixes come off. So now Farad can escape this hand if an eight or a deuce comes up where they'd split the pot. He can win it with a seven. He must catch a three across, as we say. An eight or a deuce would do it as well. Gomez one card away from the WPT made millionaire. And he's done it! There it is. The Brazilian has come from last place at this final table to take the first ever World Poker Tour title back to Brazil. Alex Gomez taking home 1187000 here for Bellagio. He's our WPT champion. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that celebration. <laughs> Brazil, Brazil, Brazil! Well, there you have it. Another great WPT final table. Congratulations to Alex Gomez, champion of Bellagio Cup 5. For Vince Van Patten and all the folks at the World Poker Tour, I'm Mike Sexton saying thanks for watching. And until next time, may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. I don't understand what this is for here. <laughs>